So uh, we'll take a look at it and see what's going on there. A lot of times when you get a 6.9 magnitude quake out there, uh, it's definitely going to show up um, on the seismograph stations, no matter if they're near or far. But uh, we'll take a look at it here real quick and zoom in on the area of interest here with the 6.9 supposedly struck just about like 10 minutes or so ago. We'll see what's going on. The USGS has had some interesting quakes appear and then disappear. But the way I see it is if it's visible on the seismograph stations, it's going to uh, uh, it, it'll, it'll be more realistic that that earthquake actually took place here. So just looking real quick, I'm going to check out the reviews on it and see if it's been updated or reviewed by a seismologist. Uh, it does say reviewed, 6.9. Yeah, I, uh, interesting there. You think, you would think, the 6.9 would be felt by more people than just a measly four individuals, especially out there in the islands there, pretty populated uh, region. Let's see here, I'm just kind of looking for a signature, seeing if it is there or not. I just, you know, I don't want to make any videos out here on a fake earthquake. We can also check the EMSC website, see if they have it there. Uh, let's see where we go here. There we go. This here is a worldwide. Yeah, I still got it out there. 6.6, .6, according to these guys. 6.9 on the other one, right? On the uh, USGS here. So yeah, kind of interesting. Uh, like I say, I don't see it showing up. Did you guys happen to see it show up on the uh, on the seismograph stations a short time ago? I can only go back so far, but I'm definitely not seeing any P waves or anything like that. So, uh, and that's current time for UTC time. I do not have any Japan stations on here, do I? Let me look here and see. Uh, I do have a New Zealand. Let me see if I can bring up a Japan station or at least maybe a Philippines Islands region station. So we can get more, uh, just a little bit reassurance on if this earthquake did officially take place. Like I say, I'm, I'm, I look for signs on the seismograph stations there and at the moment I just don't see them. And of course it looks like some of these stations out here are not active. That one is, so let's see if I can get that one to bring, come up here. Of course, there's no data coming in there. Figures. So anyway, we'll t we'll uh, keep an eye on it, folks. Uh, like I say, I, I just don't see anything popping up on the uh, on here yet. Maybe it did, and maybe I missed it. Either way, as um, far as the tsunami statement goes, if there was uh, indeed that earthquake, I don't think there was any type of tsunami warning. But we will check it out real quick. Just to see what those folks there at the Tsunami Warning Center may have uh, said. Uh, doo -doo 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 -doo. There's no tsunami threat from this earthquake here. Uh, it's based on all available data, so uh, that's a good thing. Definitely a good thing, but... Uh, like I said, I just don't even see it showing up on the Yellowstone seismographs. Maybe that was it right there. Maybe it's been a longer, a little bit longer than, uh... Ah... Uh, that's... These earthquakes over here, this signature of an earthquake that we're seeing on this map is from the 5.2, uh, 5.1 down there in Baja, California. Uh, it's kind of a, a distinct signature of it. Now the 6.9, 6.6 that supposedly just, just struck would definitely show up as well on these seismographs here. So, uh, yeah, interesting. I'm kind of surprised that they're not. Anyway, we'll, uh, uh that's amazing. I mean, I just, I don't get it. <laughs> How could a large earthquake avoid being picked up on the seismograph stations. Anyway, folks, uh, we'll be out here on the live stream monitoring for a little bit, uh, a little bit more.